Welcome to version 3.0 of the Stream Deck Media Plugin. This update is focused on Stream Deck Plus, so if you don't have a Stream Deck Plus device, there is nothing new for you in this update, I'm afraid. But for you guys with Stream Deck Plus devices, there is a new generic media action available. And if we put that on a dial, you can see that the editor is divided in three sections. I assume you know you can use a dial in three different ways. You can rotate it, you can press it, and you can rotate it while it is pressed. The rotate action can send control change commands, and that's the only option for the time being. You set the CC and channel to use, and let's say 30, which is my drums bus. And you set the mean and max values it should send, and the step size. And the step size is how much the media value will be changed for each physical step of the dial. Then you have a number of display options. You can display it as a V-pot, or as a fader, or as a simple horizontal bar. For each display type you have a number of additional options. V-pots, for instance, can be displayed in the fallen half size. And you have a number of designs to choose from, and you can add your own design if you want. Please check the website for details. And you can set how you want the MIDI value to be displayed. I have Cubase, so I can set Cubase and get the decibel value displayed like that. A step size of 1 gives you very fine-grained control over whatever you are controlling, but it can be impractical because you need to turn the dial more than four full revolutions to get from a value 0 to a value 127. So one thing you can do is to set a higher step count. That gives you a much quicker response when you use the dial, but you lose precision. What you can do is to use the rotate while pressed action and say that you want to control the same CC, but with another step size. So with this configuration, I can have a quick response when I rotate the dial and a much more fine-grained control if I rotate while it is pressed. I can also send something completely different when it is pressed. So let's say 31. That is the pan control for that channel. So now I can control the volume while rotated and the pan while it is pressed. If I have a separate CC for the rotate while press action, I can select a um, display for that one. So now I have a pan display while it is pressed and when I release the dial, it returns to the display for the volume. The final thing is the press action. I can say CC32, that is the mute state for that channel. And I can say that I want a state icon in the display. I can select the on icon and the off icon. And now I have the mute state icon available in the display, and if I use the dial, press it, I can change the mute state. I can also tap the icon on the display to get the same response. And of course, if I change the volume in Cubase or change the mute state, it will also be shown in the display. So let's look at some examples to give you some ideas of what you can do with this. The first example is the same as you saw before, but with the fader display. So if I rotate the dial, I control the volume. If I rotate while it is pressed, I control the pan. And when I press it, I control the mute state. The second command is slightly different. When I rotate, the dial, I control the volume. If I press and rotate, I have fine grain control of the volume. And if I press the dial, I can toggle between two distinct volume levels. And the third example shows you that you can control three completely different things with the three actions. If I rotate the 
dial, I control the volume on one channel. If I press and rotate, I control the volume on, on another channel. And if I press it, I can control the loop state in Cubase. I hope these examples gave you some ideas for what you can do with this action. One last thing that is important to know is that if you put this action in a stack, the Stream Deck software will use the press action to move to the next plugin in the stack. So the plugin will never get notified that the dial is pressed. So the dial rotate while pressed action will never be used if the action is placed in a stack. The press action will never be used when the dial is pressed. But if you configure the action with a state icon in the display, you can tap the display to trigger the action. That's all for this update. Thanks for watching.